I'm Rob. Hey, and I'm Shannon, and welcome to Build Up, the show about shows between the shows. We have Jerry O'Connell here to talk about his new show, Carter. Oh, yeah. In this show, Jerry plays Harley Carter, an actor in Hollywood playing a detective who comes home and can't shake his itch for solving crimes. Yes. So before Jerry takes the stage, we want to test your detective skills because we have a crime scene evidence Ooh. from Jerry O'Connell's most iconic projects of the past. And you can just guess from that crime scene evidence. Ooh. Who would like to play? Who wants to play detective in the house? Oh, today? Yeah. yeah. Come on. Someone play. We better get our gloves Woo, on. Woo. Do you want to play? Do you want to play? Who wants to play? No one wants to solve crimes. So what? Are you all criminals? Yeah. I'm calling like the cops right now. I'm here. dialing 911 right crimes, now. A lot of criminals. You won't see Jerry in jail. Mm -hmm. I'm putting Who my wants to play? On. Who Come wants on. to play? Who wants to play? We got Oh my God! You guys. No. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, no Come one, on. No, no one's one? playing yet. No guys, one? we set up a really great oh, fun I, game. It's a really fun game. Yeah. Nobody, Nobody? wants to play. All right. We might I'm, find someone. I think I see maybe someone here is look, getting excited hey, about. Woo, Wait, you, I think right maybe, here. Oh my maybe. God! They chose you. They chose you. Yeah. Would get you? Up. Come on up. Get on <laughs> It'll be so fun. Yeah. All right. Woo. Oh, my God. Thank you for being so willing. Yeah. Come on up. Take that step right there. Be careful. Woohoo! Right here. Yeah. And Hi. if we can get Luke, program. please, the beautiful, mysterious <laughs> Luke, bring a clue pack number one. Oh, yes. Great. Hi. What's your name? Joan. Joan. Uh, speak right up into that microphone. Oh, really Joan. Quickly. Thank you, Joan. Hey, all right. Joan. Thanks for playing. Nothing bad is going to happen to you. No, I don't know why all these fun. other people were so scared. They're all criminals. We oh, gotta yeah. get you some gloves, you though. Need gloves. We gotta get yeah. you at this least like one very, rubber glove. This is like very, very important evidence. So you should wear these gloves. Luke, do we have another pair of gloves? Oh, definitely. Here we go. Oh, great. Thank you. Now, this, uh, these have been acquired at the crime scene of previous Jerry O'Connell projects. So we're gonna show you all the clues that we acquired, and you just have to guess. You know which project it was. I'm not gonna say movie or TV. It might be either. Okay, it's a project. You're done with that, right? Sure. 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 You'll be great at this. All right. This is we're we're gonna start off. Let's get let's get the crime out. All of right. Here. I'll hold it, Rob. You take him out. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Piece of okay. evidence number one. Piece of evidence number one. Ooh. Um. <gasps> ooh. Looks like blueberries. Some standard blueberries. Blueberries. All right. What do you think? Oh, mm, can you okay. guess already? Wow. You're just beaming with guesses. Okay. I'm gonna drop those. Right what else is in there? Oh, here you hold that. You hold. Yeah, why don't you hold that evidence? We can't They're put evidence on the floor. They're gonna guess which Jerry O'Connell project these are related to. Ready? I can't remember. Oh, oh it's okay. You'll you'll get. Oh. Don't worry. You got more guesses. A dead body. Oh, a dead, a dead body. body. Oh, hmm. what else? What else do we have hmm. in here? Hmm. A oh, Ooh, a, friendship a friendship bracelet. bracelet. Hmm, friendship, dead bodies, blueberries. Ooh. What project has blueberries, friendship, and death? Hmm. hmm, something from the past, maybe? Something Perhaps. from childhood? Anyone's a childhood? childhood? Yeah, friendship is great. You could Go guess. Goonies? Oh, it was so oh, close, so but it was close. such a different one. Anybody but it was, else want to guess? Oh, no. You could shout Oh, wait, wait. She's got that look that says... No, 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 no. You know, it's a classic. There's a song about yeah. it. Stand by me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, it is Stand By Me. You got it. Look you at got that. it. Look at that. Thank you. So, a that was winner. Amazing. A winner. Let's wow. Let's do another one. Let's do one more. All right. Evidence package number two, yes, please. Luke, please. Thank you, Detective Luke. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Detective Luke, he solves all crimes. <laughs> oh, you're great. This is great. So, yeah. let's see. This one is going to be, oh, this one's this one's obscure. Oh, all right. Here, I can take it out. Okay, you take it out. <laughs> Ready? All right. Ooh, the first thing is a remote control. A remote. Ooh, look at a this. A remote do, to do, control do. things. Who knows what you're controlling? Is it TV? We don't know. We didn't say that. It's just a remote. All right, you take another one out. There you go. All right. Next up, we have a worm. A worm. Oh. A you worm. Hmm. A worm. Get close. Get acquainted with your with your evidence. Yes. Let's see what next? One. Hmm. Put it together. Oh, a watch. A watch. A time. Watch. A watch hmm. time. Oh, she knows it. So if yeah. we, if you don't get it, we can maybe help get help from the audience because she seems I to know. I don't know it. Okay, ready? Let's do one more. And this one is like right. really fun. This is a good giveaway. Come on. Grab that, Shan. 
Oh. Mini burgers. Some tiny burgers. Tiny burgers. Tiny small burgers. burgers. Mini burgers. Tiny burgers. Sliders? Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> you are so good at Nailed this game. It. I don't even know that. Yeah, you're what so good this? at this. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, <laughs> oh, like, I didn't even get it. Hi, Jerry. Really? <laughs> it was so obscure. Do you want to play? Do you want to play? Yeah, sure. I would not have gotten Really? Oh. Okay. Well, you know, if we can. You. We should just make Jerry play the game. See is if Jerry he can gonna play the game? Project. Is that? I don't know. What's? Yeah. Why not? We, we'll come to you, Jerry. Well, no. I. I, I should I go up there? Yeah. Sure. Go up there. Oh, okay, Jerry. To? Wants. Oh, no. Okay. Let's get Jerry up here. Woo! Get Jerry. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Wow. Watch yourself. All right. Oh my gosh. How Jerry, are you? So nice to meet you. I was so. I'm so sorry. Are you guys like germaphobes? What's the deal no, with the gloves up here? Yes, come on. Is this like yeah. some like Michael Jackson stuff that's <laughs> happening here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're detectives. Okay. A little right. CSI action. Okay. Yeah. A little crime so, scene here on Broadway? So if you're yeah. catching up, we're going to unpack a crime scene that comes from a previous project. Okay, wait. Let me tell you guys how to properly do this because I play an actor who acts like a cop who makes believe he's a cop in a television show. This is how you do it if you're a cop. Whoa. Whoa! The inside scoop. I did not know that. I was just jamming my fist in there. No, like, no. why doesn't this no. work? That's not how you do it. No. Oh, you gotta get the pump. And also, that's super inappropriate. Check this out. Whoa. Gosh, it was violent. That is like, yeah, very violent. <laughs> Aggressive. I hope the glove is okay. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't rip apart. <laughs> All right, do you, you think ready? you're ready to play your own game about you? Let's do it. Let's see, okay. let's see. All right. All right, so let's pull out a pull out a one item. Okay. Oh man, this is so funny. This is gonna be a real doozy. Okay. That All right. tiara. Tiara yeah. or a crown. Okay. A crown? Little Miss Little Miss Sunshine. I was not in that. No, oh, you weren't. I wish in I that. was. You should know what you yeah, were you in. I tried. What I auditioned. <laughs> Here's another one. Guys, this is really tough. Uh, Ooh. Here's a surgical oh. man. Who wears those? The Jerry, who wears okay, let's, those? Let's let's really try and break this down. So there's a tiara mm -hmm. and a dust mask or a surgical mask. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A doctor. Don't tiara. don't guess okay. yet. Yeah. Okay, I'm not. You're so you close. Putting it together. A knife. A knife. A knife. <laughs> I think I got it. I think I'm I got guess. it. guess what is it? I'm gonna guess. I think, I I think it's gonna be Scream Two. Oh, so close! Wait, so close. Wait, You're also in Scream Two. But the crown. The crown. Um, gosh, uh, was I in this movie? Yeah. It, well, it doesn't I, have to be a movie. It can be a, a TV project. show. Oh, it can be a TV show. Oh, Scream Queens. Scream Queens. Oh. Yeah. We stumped oh Jerry O'Connell. Yeah. We did it. Oh we I was in that show, Scream movie. Queens. I didn't yeah. realize the tiara. That's yeah. right. Looking back, tiara has nothing to do with Scream 2. I'm, I'm so sorry. No. You know, we made it no. difficult. We wanted to make it hard. We even, yeah, we duped you. Well, it was right, great. Because they were doctors in a, in a, in a medical facility yeah, in, in the, the hospital. Yeah, in the hospital. Where you were also a murderer. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a little, I'm, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Uh, I thought you were great. Yeah, I, I, I did get the wrong answer to the a project I was in. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, sometimes you get lost in character. Yeah, you just, Mr. Carter, you is that yeah, you? Right? <laughs> Am I allowed to take the tiara off now? You yeah, can take it off. Yeah, yeah, we'll allow that. Yeah, do you want to do one more? That'd be fun. Sure. All right, All right let's do one, one more. more. This one I love. I already know it. Um, and I'm so sorry, uh, ma'am. What was your name? Joan. Joan. I'm not taking any prize money or like a oh, trip no, to we like have there no is a money. trip to Honolulu. Oh. You just won, Jerry. <laughs> it's going straight to you. And enjoy it. Enjoy it. If you want to take Joan, that's okay. But like, it's really your trip. <laughs> All of a sudden, Joan's man. angry. <laughs> She's like, "What the hell is going on here? This place is rotten." Uh, I'm gonna let Joan uh, get uh, involved yes. with this as well. All right, okay, yeah. All right, let me prep these minutes. bags. I, make sure I you take one at a time. Grab that bag like, right there. The took little plastic. Over. Yep. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. This I know. Oh, what? Do you? Here's the thing, <laughs> everybody. But don't get too far. We got to go through all the clues. I know. Yeah, we have but let me clues. just warn everyone. I've been in some random stuff in my life, and this is going to be real Let's show random. The camera this is one of describe... my favorite projects, by the way. Yeah, describe really? this. Seriously, I love this film. This? I can't what believe it. it. That's a, that is a cockroach. That's a cockroach, yeah. It's not real, real, real. No, it's not. 
Uh, you didn't collect this here at the uh, at the build headquarters. You yeah. didn't go down to the basin and go find this. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is a real roach that was in our bathroom that I tricked into getting into the Ziploc bag, and I think he's still alive. Yeah, oh, I, I just want to know we are not hurting any cockroaches no. during the never, taping of this never. show. At all, they're totally being humanely treated, as you yeah. can see. We're really we're treating this cockroach super fairly, and it's gonna. You know what? I'm yeah. gonna set it free. Oh, okay, great. Oh, wow. Is that okay? Wow. The audience is running out. They're like, no. <laughs> like this is getting little guy. It's okay. Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, we have some string cheese in the back for him. Here you go, Here you go little guy. Oh, <laughs> my God. Free. Oh, is he breathing? Free. Oh, no. Oh, Move on. we lost one. Oh, it's it's by your foot, maybe? Oh, okay. It's free. It's going to breathe. He just away. He was like, it's, I'm out of here. It's cockroach breeding season. Go <laughs> Someone breathe. is going to find that tomorrow and scream loudly. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, just one more. I'm so sorry. That's another cockroach. Another uh, anyone's hands super sweaty right now? Yeah, uh, super yeah, sweaty. Yeah, yeah. Mine are very yeah. sweaty, yeah. I can't wait to smell these gloves afterwards. Yeah, it's just, it's the most muggy day of the year out there, and we decided to wear put on the rubber gloves. Another oh, cockroach. Another cockroach. Yep. Uh, I know what this film is. Uh, I, I don't think you know what the film is, right? It's super no. rando. It, it really came out a long time ago, and no one huge, really knows. It was huge, though. It was huge. Was it really? Yes, yeah, it yes. It was a big deal. MTV generation, uh, Correct. Yeah, the first MTV film, right, ever? A Am, am I allowed to say? Yes, yeah, you can. It yes. was a film called Joe's Apartment, where Woo! my character talks to the roaches that live in his apartment. Joe. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, listen, Thank I you. thought it was really fun. I don't know if um. Yeah. I don't know if the review. <laughs> I checked. So I checked its Rotten Tomato score, and it was not. It was, it was so not good. Way up great. there. We love Rotten it. Rotten Tomatoes. Don't listen to them. Jerry, you have to get the photos so you can get on time for your build. Yes, Let's we're go. gonna send you to the photos. Playing. I really appreciate you guys. Thank oh, you. Thank I'm you. sorry about yeah. that trip to Honolulu. I, I, <laughs> no, congrats. Congrats. No, congrats. You deserve oh, it. You that. deserve yeah. it. Joseph Arnold was really great. Yeah. Um, if I trade it in, like, what's the cash value of it? Um, you think? I don't know. Well, Around like seven, like seven, 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 seven. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, I'm going to be dispersing it evenly among all of us. Oh, wow. What all a right. generous man. Thank wow. you so much. This is a total joke, guys. I didn't win any money, so please don't expect anything from me. <laughs> I have nothing. I'm actually severely in debt, and I have a terrible credit score. You are doing so great. Yeah. We're going to send you to the <laughs> Thank photos. You, so much. you have to go take your photos, and then we're going to build and Thank do the interview. So Thank you so much, Sherry. We'll see you soon. Woo! Do All we right. have one more? Let's do let's do uh, one more. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so yeah, much. You played you're so great. great. That was quite an experience, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Who who knew? You got them all right. You're, you got them you all right. So, like tentative, and then you were like, you know, Jerry O'Connell genius. And you you made Jerry O'Connell feel really bad about yeah. stealing his trip to Honolulu. <laughs> No so, hey. He'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be well, fine. I'm getting a trip. <laughs> All right, can we get a new volunteer? Yeah, we're going to, you can go ahead back to your seat. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Let's give I a hand for Jody. Right. Here you go. Yeah, hand come in that on mic down right here. There. Thank you. Yeah, thank and we have you. one more. Let's do one more guessing game. This is going to be so fun. You know, uh, it's hard to keep going. Come on in. It's Yeah, it's hard to be a detective, but I feel like this audience has made it seem very, very easy. They did. Are you, hi, what's your name? Shuby. Hey, Shuby. Shuby, thanks for playing. Okay, we have one final little packet. Oh, uh, Luke, can we get gloves? Important. Yeah, we gotta yeah, have the gloves. Yeah, we can't These have her touching so evidence important. without the gloves. We can't tamper this evidence. Yeah. We've all seen Netflix crime docs. You Thank mess you up so the evidence, much. you mess oh, up the whole he case. He just threw a box okay? of gloves. These he are from Luke's the apartment. I don't yeah. know why he has these. I don't yeah. know. Luke we, was we like, I've bit, got the Luke black, was like, the black Can I bring my gloves? gloves? And I was like, okay, Luke, whatever you want, Luke. Yeah, he was dying to yeah. bring his black rub rubber gloves, and now everyone knows about them. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's, All let's right. say, you're almost you ready? ready, you're almost prepped. Here, Shannon, you want to pull out yeah. a piece of evidence here? I love pulling evidence out. Yes. All right, first one. Ooh, Ooh a bag of blood. blood. Ooh, check okay, it out. That's okay. real thick blood. All right, here's another one. Go ahead and take that little piece of paper right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, okay. Now, this one, we should show the cam. This is a, a man with his bottom half crossed out. Yeah, so no Gone. bottom half. There's no bottom half on the man. So that's a clue. Think about it. Yeah, but you got to do your own detective yeah, work to figure that out. What is it? detectives from the couches. Okay. Shuby, grab that last one. I'll show it off. Oh, what's that? Wait, it's kind of pinched up here. Yeah. It looks like a. Uh, it's a fish. Fish with some teeth. Very mm. aggressive teeth. Aggressive. You see that aggressive sh fish. Shark-like teeth. So blood, no fish. bottom half, and uh, an aggressive fish with crazy teeth. Sharp teeth. Hmm. Sharp teeth on the fish. You can do this. I believe. Start with the so fish. Much. It's a piranha. 
Ooh, yes. Piranha, Piranha. And what movie was was Piranha? You're so close. There was a movie about piranhas. Yeah. Yes. It was Piranha Three yes. D. D. Piranha Three D. Remember, uh, Daryl Connell's character had his whole lower half eaten off <laughs> by piranhas. Spoiled. It's very sad. You know, yeah. R.I.P. his genitalia. That was a bad day for that character. That all was right. rough. Thank you so much. Thanks for yeah, volunteering. Yeah, you were great. You keep you that. Great. That's keep all that. yours. That is your all of this. piranha uh, piece of paper. Yeah, this wow. has been oh, such a great time. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us on Build Up. Daryl Connell is about to go on Build right now and talk about his new show, Carter. So stick around. Hey everyone, welcome to Build. I'm your host, Brittany Jones Cooper. Today I'll be joined by Jerry O'Connell, who stars in the new WG in America show, Carter, where he plays Harley, a Hollywood actor who returns home after an embarrassing public meltdown. While his plan is to take a break, he quickly finds himself reconnecting with old friends and partnering with them to solve a local mystery. Let's take a look. Victim's daughter. It's not like it is on TV, is it? Funny, I, I was just thinking it's exactly like it is in the show. I'm, I mean, I'm sitting here literally thinking she is good. She's got a real future ahead of her. Harley, her father is dead. I know. Here's the thing. If I can look at this like it's my TV show, maybe we can figure this out. Is that Harley or Charlie Carter talking? Because either way, it's terrifying. Everyone put your hands together for Jerry O'Connell. Yes. Wow. First time here at Build. It's I'm your first so time. It well, is. Welcome. And you got to participate in a build up. I was so excited. Yeah, you it really it. was. I like that you could guest your own projects. If you couldn't, that would not be good. <laughs> for, for those watching, we played a game where they were guessing my projects. And actually, there were a couple I didn't even get. I'm, I'm so embarrassed about that. Yeah, you should be. Um, just joking. Well, this one, <laughs> you have a new one, Carter, which uh, I got to check out the, the first episode. It just looks like so much fun. So really quick, can you give people kind of the premise? Yeah, it's super fun. It's, uh, it's on WGN America this Tuesday, and I play an actor who's a cop on a TV show, and he thinks he's super cool, and um, he has a little bit of a meltdown in Hollywood, and he moves back to his small hometown, and um, he thinks because he plays a cop on TV, he can tell the cops how they should solve crimes. And first of all, I want to say, no one should ever impersonate a police officer. Super bad. You can't do that, and it's illegal. But it's, um, it's really fun. Actually, that clip you saw is like one of my favorite scenes in the whole thing, because it just breaks the whole thing down. You know, there's a young lady crying. Her father was just murdered. And, you know, but the lovely Sydney Poitier, who's uh, my co-star, amazing actress, comes up to me and says, you know, it's, it's not like TV, is it? And I'm like, no, actually, it's just like TV. And I'm going to use TV rules to solve this thing. And it really, like, it, it just made me laugh so, so hard. You know, it's a lot like Castle. It's a lot like... Um, um, there was a show called Grinder uh, a couple years ago where an actor may believe he was a lawyer. It's um, it, it's sort of those. It, it's it's along the same lines, except it's an actor who plays a cop on TV who thinks he can use his TV knowledge to solve crimes, and it really made me laugh. Well, that scene was so great too because she's crying, and he's like, "God, she's she would be a great actress," <laughs> and she's like, like, "She's grieving. Like that's, those are real tears." Yeah, but you know, the I mean, for me, the show really works because Sidney Poitier. Uh, the lovely Sidney Poitier, um, really grounds our show. So I can sort of be as wacky as possible, and, and Sidney really helps ground it. And there's all these fun moments, which I love as a viewer, where like he's very self-aware of what he's doing. So he's like, does anybody hear that dramatic music? Or all these things that right. like, would be on his fake show yeah. that he like, incorporates into the real life. You know, it's, it's fun to sort of, you know, he's very vain. He's always worried about how he looks, and he's always talking about the paparazzi, just, like, stalking him all the time, and they're not. And it's really fun to play vanity because you're really playing insecurity. So it, it's just a really fun character to play, and 
Also, listen, it's like, a, you know, it's a procedural. So there's going to be a murder at the beginning. We're going to meet a bunch of suspects. And then we have to figure out who who did it. And it's just funny to to play a guy who's like, look, this is how it works in TV. There's five acts. And we're coming up to the fifth act. There's going to be, we're, we're going to figure out who this is. It's, um, it's just cute. It really made me laugh. And he's saying that, and it's a joke, but then... That's kind of what happened. Well, listen, it is a TV show, so, you know, Castle's got to be right somewhere along the way or else there's not a TV show. I mean, um, it's, um, it's great. Our writer's really... Uh, our, 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 our creator is a guy named Gary Campbell who created a, a really famous Canadian sketch comedy series, or didn't create it, uh, was a writer on a really funny uh, Canadian sketch comedy series called Kids in the Hall. So there's a lot of sort of irreverent humor in there. It's, um, it's great. I'm really proud of it, and I think people are going to love it. Yeah, take me through the cast. I mean, the chemistry is really, really great. What is it like being Sydney on set? Sydney Poitier, heart song, gorgeous. Uh, whose father is Sydney Poitier? Whose father yeah. is Sydney Poitier? Um, fun fact about Sydney Poitier: also a New York University grad, right across the street with myself. Um, we went to school together. Um, although Sydney looks way better than I do, um, this is uh, Christian Brun. Uh, one of the stars of Orphan Black, if anyone watched that show. He's uh, also a really fun actor. He plays um, he plays the guy who's sort of the local, and he uh, he's our, our childhood friend. And there's a little bit of Stranger Things in the show, too, because we were childhood friends, and we were sort of young, um, young mystery... Young detectives. Detectives, sort of. you know, sort of Scooby-Doo-ish, a little like yeah. uh, Stranger Things-ish. And we've sort of reunited as adults, and um, Christian's great as well. I'm wondering, as an actor, have you ever played a role and thought like, oh, I could probably do this in real life, sort of like this guy? You know, I have to say, I did. I was on a TV show a while back called Crossing Jordan, um, and I played a cop on that show. And we did it for six years. And, it's you know, they give you a fake badge and a fake gun when you come in in the morning. And I don't want to sound like a, a weirdo, but you, you feel like a cop when you do that. I mean... If you put on a badge, even though it's fake, and you have a gun, even though it's fake, you sort of, like, put your hands on your hips when you talk to people, and you, uh, you like, go to the lunchroom, or we would, like, break on lunch, and I'd see people cutting, and I'd be like, hey, man, you can't cut the line. There's a line here. And people would be like, like who are you? Like, Jerry, sh shut up. Who are you? And I'm like, I'm the cafeteria police, man. You got to go in the back of the line. There's no cutsies. There's no cutsies, man. Um, so it's... Uh, I mean, I sound like a psycho, but you do feel like, you know, I'm like directing, like in our parking lot. I'd be like, hey, man, you can't park here. Come on, pull it in all the way in. You got to keep this lane clean. Um, you know, it's, it, it's fun. I do tap into that a little bit playing Carter because he also plays a cop and I'm tapping into that psychoness that I felt when I was playing a cop, too. I think you know? when you put on the uniform, it's even like Halloween when you put it on, you're like, oh, okay, I am Superman today. You know? <laughs> right. Like, this is real. Right. Which you voice Superman, right? In a I voice Superman. Yeah. I'm in um, a, a lot of the DC animation, um, uh, the Justice League films. Uh, we have a new one out called Death of Superman that just, I think, is coming out tomorrow. Um, it's, uh, oh, man, it's so great to do those. It's so iconic, too, to voice Superman. You know, you got to... You got to go down a couple octaves to, uh, you know, because this is like the natural. This is the natural register of my voice. He can't but just be a dude. He has to. Be yeah, Superman. Superman doesn't go up this high, you know. <laughs> Superman's not like, hey Lex, listen, man, Lex, you can't be doing this, dude. Like that's like my natural voice, and you can't do that. So I really have to be like, uh -uh. Lex, Lex, put down the weapon. Like you have to really like. Uh, you know, tough it up a little bit. I love that. Back to the the cop drama part. Um, the like the crime procedurals, like every those are so big right now. Are you good at those? Like I watch Making a Murderer, and I I'm so <laughs> clueless. Like I can never I never see it coming. I never piece things together. Right. When you do you watch that stuff? And I love that Making a Murderer. Um, yeah, I do watch a lot of crime television. Um, listen, I love me. All those date lines, uh, I mean, all those 48 hours, uh, my wife and I love them all. I mean, usually because, you know, the 2020s or the date lines or everything, it's always about, like, a couple 
and someone in the car. I don't mean, my wife and I are sickos. Like, it's usually a married couple, and, like, someone's got a boyfriend or a girlfriend, and then there's some sort of plot to kill one of the spouses, and my wife and I just eat that up. We should probably go to therapy about that. You, so you <laughs> watch it to learn how to murder each other and get away with it, basically. You know, I'm not plotting any murder, but now that you <laughs> talk about it, maybe my wife is, like, she is, like, writing down, no, what the heck is going on here? Um... Uh, See her taking notes. Just be aware. We love them. I mean, we just love that crime stuff. It is fun doing a procedural because, you know, it's like um, this is what they – Carter is what they call um, a light procedural or they call it in the business. It's called – and I didn't even know what – so don't, I'm not going to act like I have I throw this term around because I heard it for the first time when I did the show. It's a blue sky procedural, meaning there's going to be a death. There's going to be like a solving of that death. But – you're not going to be that. It's not like, you know, Mind Hunter. Or it's not like a torch. It's not like torture, torture stuff, you know? It's, it's not like comedy. Saw. Carter is not like Saw. <laughs> That's what I came here to tell everyone. <laughs> and I just got fired. <laughs> it's not like Saw, but like I said, I really didn't know who did it to the end. So it keeps you really engaged for the full 40, you know, minutes. Yeah, yeah. That's really good. Um, in addition to Carter, I also read something that uh, you're really into Bravo. Man, uh, okay. I, I, um, I am going to host, a sh I'm going to be one of three hosts on a show uh, where we, it's basically like a highlight show for everything on Bravo. Now, listen, I, I watch pretty much every show on Bravo. I, I, I mean, I just love it. I, I love the network. I have such a fun time watching it with my wife. Uh, we love every Housewives franchise. We love every Below Deck franchise. I mean, we go deep, Mediterranean, Captain Sandy, giving you a shout out. Um, we just love them all. I love the Vanderpump. And... I love going on Andy Cohen's show, Watch What Happens Live. It's so fun for me because I get to meet those celebrities in person. I mean, I got to sit next to Jax Taylor. For those who don't know, he's on Vanderpump. A lot of times he's a bad guy on that Super show. Super problematic, Jax. I, I, I love him, though. And he is maybe one of the most dynamic characters on all of television. He is, he's just so rich and just, like, he gets into fights. He's... He's in a relationship. He's engaged now, but sometimes he's like not the best of of partners. But he he's, sort of had a come to Jesus recently, I love right? Him. And he's like I, reformed and he's trying hard. I, I'm his number one fan. Okay. I, and anyway, I love everything Bravo. And they said, "Look, we're thinking about doing a highlight show. Are you interested?" And I was like, "Not only am I interested, how much do I have to pay you to come do this?" Um. I'll tell you the craziest part about having a show now for Bravo. Uh, by the way, we we did have a title. Oh, sorry, what were you going to say? I was going to say the real title was originally Real Men Love Bravo, but now they want to make it a little more inclusive. But I do love that fact that men watch Bravo very passionately. Right. So we had that title um, that you yeah. just said. Uh, I'm not going to say it <laughs> because um, it uh, it rightfully so caught a lot of heat. Um, you know, I – we – want to apologize for that title. We did not really think of it as, we, we, we didn't think it was as insensitive. It, 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 we, we weren't aware, there was, we, we heard everyone's voices when we came out with that title. Uh, you know, Bravo, myself, my boss, Andy Cohen, we are very inclusive. We don't want anyone to feel excluded in any way. Um, I did just hear um, that we have changed the title officially, and it is going to be called Bravo's Play by Play. Woo. So um, there will uh, there will be no more men mention of gender in that title or anything. We're so um, we're really sorry about that. We 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 really heard everyone's heard everyone's issues with it, and we 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 made sure to change it. And uh, it's called Bravo's Play by Play because it's going to be sort of like a it's almost like looking at it like it's a sports show, you know? Like, we're, we're going to take you through play-by-play play of what happened on Bravo that week. And listen, if you watch Bravo, I mean, there is a show, sometimes two shows on every week. Even I can't keep up with it. My DVR is 
is smoking at the end of the week because of Bravo. I mean, literally, my data plan, I've exceeded it so many times. I had to, like, go to, like, like Target or Costco to get their Wi-Fi, and then I'm that guy sitting in, like, like next to the Target entrance trying to, like, get on their free Wi-Fi, and it's, like, it's sad. But I'm so stoked. I mean, the really fun part about having that job at Bravo is they give me now shows two weeks in advance. So I've seen not only I've seen the next two Real Housewives of New York. Do you understand how exciting that is for me? It I do understand because I couldn't wait to see them in Cartagena and I had to wait like a real person. Okay. And that sucks. Let's talk about Cartagena. Let's talk about it. These young ladies took a trip to Cart Cartagena. Cartagena, Colombia. And they went on a boat ride from hell. And they were teasing this. They've been teasing it since March. That's the first mention I heard of this. And we got to see the episode. And it was cray, cray. And I saw that two weeks ago. And I have to tell you, I feel like I, feel like I work at the White House. And someone's like, uh -uh. Um, Mr. O'Connell, we have the dossier for you. And like, it's like... I, I feel like I have more security clearance than Jared Kushner. I, like, I, 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 I but that, that said, I get super scared having that knowledge because, man, I'm just so afraid. Like, sitting here talking to you, I'm going to tell you what I saw Bethany do with... I mean, you can't tease me Carol, like that because now you have to don't sit. I know. I, I'm even afraid to tell you off camera. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. I do, and I'm going to get fired for this. I do share it with my wife, who is not a Bravo employee. Um, but, uh, but the Bravo show is going to be a lot of fun. And also, there were some uh, rumors about, like, um, completely false about that uh, it was um, only going to be uh, a certain... It was only going to be men on the show. It was, it's insane. We're beg. If you don't think we are not begging Ramona, Bethany, Dorinda, Countess, Dorinda, Ramona, <laughs> uh, Nini. Oh, please. Uh, yes, I'm going to say it. Yes. Phaedra. She's super problematic, but I'm co-signing. Uh, listen, I mean, we're uh, like, I'm going to be begging them all to come. Yeah. I said Ramona, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sonia. Carol. We want to hear from Carol. We've got some questions for Carol. Of course. I've already, like, I've I already written them miss all down. Her. I already miss her. Um, I'm really excited. I'm so, I, I mean, we're talking, we could talk about this for another hour. It's gonna I be love great. Real Housewives. I want to know on the Cartagena episode, Tinsley, she was like, everything was fine. It's fine. I was like, because you planned the trip and you wanted to be good, like, everybody almost died. Like, you could admit that it kind of sucked. Listen, I love. <laughs> I, I, I really do, I feel nothing but love for all housewives. I really do. I, I think it takes a lot of nerve to go up there. I have a great deal of, I have a great deal of respect for them. You know, it's a lot to do a reality show, and they really come into your lives, you know? I mean, they're filming these, they're, they're, they're filming these ladies at home, their lives, their kids. But Tinsley was really cracking me up in that Cartagena, Colombia episode, um, where the, I mean, basically, the boat is sinking, everyone. And everyone's like, Ah, oh God, we're dying! We're gonna die! And she's like, It's supposed to happen! The boat goes like this against the waves! This is okay! I've been here before. I'm like, No, you're dying. <laughs> this happens with boats! Like, what was this that she was doing? Like, the boat is like, like sinking into Sonia's the Sonia's like, I've been on boats before! This is not what happens. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man! I live in a garbage can. <laughs> so you've got the Bravo stuff, you've got Carter, you've got Death of Superman. How do you choose these projects? Do you just choose them by like what feels good to you? or Because it, it seems like it's super diversified and that would keep it kind of fun. Um, how do I answer this? I'll tell you honestly, usually what happens is someone more talented than me turns it down <laughs> and then it like goes down the chain a couple of times and then they're finally like, all right, I guess we got to call Jerry. <laughs> and then, you know, for example, for Carter, um, Jason Bateman was doing Ozark. Um, Ryan Reynolds is, like, super famous. <laughs> um, they really went down the whole 
chain. And um, finally they were like, well, we got to get somebody. And <laughs> they were like, um, oh, how about that guy that's always talking about Bravo? Why don't we, why don't we go get him to store in Carter? And um, yeah, no, I, you, I get all jobs because someone a lot... I, I get every job because everyone else has turned it down. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that at all. I mean, that's how it goes. So uh, you have a lot of stuff going on now, but when you think of like your dream project, what is something that maybe you haven't gotten to do? Because you've done a lot of TV and a lot of movies. I got to say, I mean, look, I'm here to talk about Carter. Here's the poster on WGN America, Tuesdays, 10 p.m., 9 central. Very important that we mention that, 9 central. Um... Oh, working on this Bravo show is like, yeah. yeah, it's it's borderline my it it it's my passion. <laughs> I gotta tell you, like ten years ago, my wife, who, who am I bore at? My wife. My wife. <laughs> ten years ago, my wife. <laughs> ten years ago, my wife was talking a lot about Real Housewives of Orange County. And I know you're not supposed to do this, like every couples therapist, marriage therapist says, don't do this, but we have a television right in our bedroom because we have to escape our children and it's the only quiet time that we get. And my, my wife was watching um, Real Housewives of Orange County and it just started like me, like sort of half asleep watching it. And then that turned into Real Housewives of New York and then I found, it's really all my wife and I talked about was whatever Bravo was programming. It was like, like we would have arguments about it. it was like I'm, I'm gonna I'm not even kidding when I say this Bravo saved my marriage like it like it gave my wife and I a common a common ground that we could you know talk discuss debate with each other um you know I would be staunchly team Carol my wife would be staunchly team Bethany and it really brought us together so when they said, oh, hey, listen, uh, Bravo's going to do a show where you're, um, I don't know if you're okay with this, but you're just going to talk about everything that's on Bravo. And I was like, what? what, 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 what? I love that. So that's borderline like my dream job. Yeah. But I mean, other dream job? I mean, I guess, what am I supposed to say? Astronaut or something? I mean, yeah, I mean, you're, I was thinking like acting roles, but cool astronaut oh, work oh. too. Yeah, astronaut is not, I failed out, I think you have to pass, I, I think it has to take less than three years to pass Algebra 2 in order to be an astronaut. They're like <laughs> scientists in stuff. Um, dream role, oh, you know what, I love doing, um, I love doing plays. I love, I love being on Broadway, I did a Broadway show, uh, man, uh, Six years ago, um, it was a really fun show uh, starring uh, Alan Rickman, who is Professor Snape, mm -hmm. and it was called Seminar, and it ran for about nine months, and it was really, it was so fun to be on Broadway and be in a show that is a hit show, and um, that that was fun, because I'm from New York, and there's like a, a vibe that happens when you're in a Broadway show, and all your fellow actor friends are like giving you props, and um, it's... Uh, it's exciting. Yeah. There's so many good plays and musicals. Oh, man. Too. So, yeah, I would love to see you. That would be yeah. awesome. Definitely. Well, I think now's a good time to turn to the audience. I know they have some questions for you. Whoa. Who do we have first? Hey. What's up? Uh, I had actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. What's your name? Where are you from? Nat from New York. Sweet. Okay. Uh, Manhattan, Brooklyn. Manhattan. Okay. Uptown, downtown. <laughs> Uh, you want an address? It's, I mean, uh, I don't want an exact address. <laughs> no, no. Uh, it was more of a request. Two sound bites. Uh, one, Baba Booey. And uh, two is uh, Sliders. Okay. <laughs> Let me just explain those sound requests. The Baba Booey sound quest is obviously, I've been a frequent guest, and I'm a forever listener to the Howard Stern radio show. Um, you know what? Baba Booey is sort of like, that's the old thing. The new one is the hit them with the high. That Woo! was the longest hit him with the Hein. Woo! Go get him, John Hein. Um, that, uh, that's the new Baba Booey. Fafa Fluhai. Uh, Baba, <laughs> yeah, Baba Fluhai. Um, 
Oh, and the sliders is that show I did. It was a, um, it's amazing, man. I did this show that was like not a hit yes, 20 was. years ago. Yes, it was. Yes, I, it was. I'm <laughs> telling you, I was living that time. No one knew who I was. I would believe me. I was taking the bus to work every day. No one was like, hey, that's a guy from sliders. It's a cult favorite. It, you know, over the years, I went to Comic-Con last week and I couldn't believe the amount of selfies I took because I was in sliders. It blew, it blew my mind. And you know what I think it is? I think it's like streaming services. I know it was yeah. on Netflix. I know it's on Hulu now. And um, it's crazy that um, it's streaming services that, that really bring it back. And my hair is crazy in that show. I can't believe how much hair I had. That's all real, by the way. That's my hair. Um, it's like even my kids, I like it was on... Um, I think it was on Hulu and we turned it on. Even my kids were like, whoa, dad. <laughs> Chill with the uh, Aquanet, dude. What's up with that? Um, it was crazy. But yeah, uh, that, the, so the show was called Sliders. And in between commercials, they would just go, Sliders. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And, I, and, and that was my voice in the voiceover. Oh, yes. Next question. Well, that's it, everybody. Thanks. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, hey. What's going on? Hi. Um, so my whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Shuby, and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Sweet. Go <laughs> Cardinals, right? Yeah. Um, so my question is: um, the premise sounds really fun and interesting. So, do you have any fun stories like of shooting Carter? Um, Carter was shot in a beautiful town in northern Ontario called North Bay, Ontario. It's gorgeous. Um, there, I mean, it's real like it's like Lake Country. There's a Huge, gorgeous lake there called Lake Nipissing. Um, I will say, on my way to work every day, I would um, I would stop off in the lake and I take like a huge like swim. It was really like because it's like it's such a it's a small town and so like the, the the lake is so massive. Everywhere you go, it's sort of like near the lake. And I would leave I would leave uh, where I was staying, and like our studio was a two blocks from the lake and I just go like jump in the lake and swim. And it was just like, I was like, I can't believe I'm doing this. It was really, um, it was really a gorgeous place to shoot. I did notice that in the first episode. I was like, where is this? Yeah. It is stunning. Gorgeous area, Northern Ontario, um, North Bay. The people are so nice. It's, um, it's actually, it's like weirdly like another character in our show because, um, the fictional town is called Bishop, but it, because it's like a small town, it's just, it's really fun, too, for me to play sort of, you know, a guy from uh, Hollywood who's come back to this small town, you know, and, like, talks about how crazy it is to be so famous and, like, everyone, no one cares that I'm there and no one bothers me and there's no paparazzi or TMZ jumping out of the bushes, but I keep talking about how, how crazy my life is, and it isn't, and it's really fun how it plays another character. It's cute. Well, like I said, I got to check out the first episode. I loved it. If you guys want to check it out, it premieres on August 7th. That's a Tuesday. Sure. WG in America, 10, 9 Central. Very important to mention. Guys, give it up for Jerry O'Connell. Oh, man, that was so fun. That was a really good time. Thank you.